Okay, we have our oven preheated to 375. We're gonna be roasting or steaming some corn. So we already uh, shucked our corn, and you're gonna take your little pointy ends off, okay, just like that. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna cut them in half, so a little easier to eat. You know the deal on that. And so we have our oven preheated. We're gonna start layering all of our lovely corn right here on a big sheet of aluminum foil what's on a full-size cookie sh uh, sheet tray or sheet tray that we're going to put all those in there before you add our other stuff in. Right, so we have our, our corn cut. We have a stick of butter. Stick of butter you're going to cut down into pats. They're about a quarter to eighth of an inch in size on our butter pats, right? Those are going to go in there. We're going to spread them all around. I'm going to show you. We're going to actually have two sheets of aluminum foil. Uh, I forgot to tell you that before. That's our bottom sheet. There's our butter on the top. Next, we have about a quarter uh, to a half teaspoon of paprika that we're going to sprinkle right on top for color generously. Our paprika, there we go. There's our paprika. You can use smoked paprika too if you will. Hot paprika, hey, if you like the heat, go for that. There's our paprika, right? Next, we have a couple pinches of salt. I like sea salt or kosher salt. Also, some fresh cracked pepper. I like my my special pepper grinder. You can use this ground pepper. All right, there we go, some pepper, right? Next, we have, we got our butter in there, and we have our half a cup of Parmesan cheese right on top. So what's gonna happen is, hopefully we're gonna steam and melt all of this in our pouch. Our oven is preheated to 375, obviously. A lot of, this is a fine, fine grated half a cup of Parmesan cheese, all right? Nice and generous. It'll melt there as we go along and steam as we go along, okay? So there we go. There's our parm. There's a lot of that. It's good. And garlic powder. So um, basically we're talking about uh, I'm sprinkling this an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. There we go. Garlic powder. You can use granulated garlic too. There's our eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. That goes on there too. So now it's time to do a double seal. We got our bottom foil, right? Check it out. We're gonna put our top foil on there. So we got a top and a bottom. See that? Next, you're gonna make a pouch. It's all about the pouch. You gotta seal your edges so that you can get some nice steaming effect and seal your corners all around. Okay, really good. Really important, all right? Corners, don't forget your corners. You don't want a lot of steam escaping as we're going along on this. All our edges, all our edges. Yeah, you don't have to boil this corn. Just put it right in the pouch and you're good. And of course we have our oven on 375. See where a nice neat little package there? Make sure all your corners are covered. There we go. That was a total of 45 minutes. Took it out of the oven. And we're going to check and see if our corn is tender, which it is. And if you want it, you know, you can go further, but you don't want to burn your corn because what happens is your, your butter really concentrates on the bottom. You have a Parmesan cheese there. And then I like to scoop some of the brown bits and just put that right on the top of our corn because that's got the, the butter, the Parmesan cheese, the paprika. And you just slather that on right there and you're all set. Uh, it doesn't make the most color, but it tastes so good because you have the butter and you have the Parmesan cheese. There you go.